Well, women came into the new year with a drop in an already struggling workforce. New data showing women lost more than 140,000 jobs in December alone. And now a local organization is adjusting its operations to help Hoosier women. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joins us now with more. Katira. Phil and Brooke, hospitality, education, and retail jobs have had large cuts since the pandemic started. And although black women and Hispanic women saw the highest job loss, women of all backgrounds have been hit hard. Since many have been forced out of work, some organizations are urging women, urging women to consider jobs traditionally dominated by men. Economically speaking, women ended 2020 deeper in the red. Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows women lost more than 150,000 jobs in December, whereas men, although still struggling, gained 16,000. We surveyed our clientele early on um, when the pandemic first hit so that we knew how to pivot. Um, and 90% of those that were surveyed did say that they've been impacted. Many agencies around the state have changed their operations to better meet the need of job seekers in a pandemic. Dress for Success is one of them, going from largely in-person services to online and even curbside. That women have been dis disproportionately impacted by the pandemic, and that is because a lot of them hold positions in industries that are hard, largely dominated by women. So education, um, retail, social services. In December of 2020, Hispanic women had a 9.3 unemployment rate. Black women saw 8% and white women had a near 6% unemployment rate. The solution isn't clear for getting them back on track, but some say women applying for traditionally male dominated jobs like AC repair, landscaping, construction and welding may help. I think maybe just the societal norms may play a role into why women don't go into those jobs um, and, and seek those out. But those are some of the positions that really haven't been touched by the pandemic too much. Now, the state of Indiana is still calculating job losses here, so local data is not supposed to be released until the end of this month. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.